Dang, dude, that's wild. This whole time wasn't even recording. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go through this again. What's up? It's Herbie, AKA that weird guy. Welcome to the Herb and Peach channel. Thank you for coming through. This is vlog 23. I wanted to share about what's been going on this past week. I got a fart. Oh yeah. Last week, we uh, finished talking about the Philippine trip. It's been a long saga, like five freaking chapters. So if you got through and you had viewed all three of them, or if you had viewed through all of them, thank you. On the other hand, if you're new here, welcome. And so now what? Now we're gonna talk about this past week that, uh, that just happened. Uh, to start off, we're gonna talk about why I have amoxicillin in my room. I'm gonna talk about the practice that I had with Nelson, job hunting, and YouTube blocking ad blockers. I know that some of you guys have been experiencing this and deep, super annoying, so. To start off with, we're gonna talk about something that I hate. I freaking hate jaw and tooth pain, dude. It's like my biggest weakness. I'm so weak, I'm such a beast to this kind of pain, jaw and tooth pain, dude. Oh, I turned into such a baby. Um, for example, it takes me back to the time when I got my wisdom teeth removed. First of all, they, they local anesthetic me. They numbed the areas where they needed to for them to start crunching my wisdom teeth with freaking pliers. I was just sitting there like, couldn't feel the pain, but like could feel my body and the pressure just like moving. It's like this guy's standing over me just, and I, could just crrr, crrr. I can hear them freaking crushing the bone, but I couldn't feel it necessarily. It's the weirdest, most disjuncted feeling ever. And so afterwards, after I got the wisdom teeth removed, they put the stitches in and they gave me the freaking, um, the prescription, waited an hour to get the prescription and then drove to the freaking pharmacy. Just all kinds of bad, right? Just all kinds of mess. Me taking it out on the girl I was dating, flirting with like another girl, just being a total fuck boy. Just like, it's like, you know, and then hiding behind the drugs. Cause I was just like, Ugh, I don't know how to deal with pain, bro. Like, whoa, it's me, life is so hard. You know, I was just like, but you know, you learn from that and you learn from your silly, behavior and you see for yourself why you don't want to behave a certain way moving forward we all find out for ourselves why not to act certain ways right so moving back to today i got amoxicillin man i went to the dentist shout out at the norva guia edger for taking me in on late notice. I've been having tooth pain, but I've also just been kind of going through it because I was like, I kind of just want to see where it goes, you know? Um, I've been going without a dentist visit for maybe three, four years. No, I want to say two years, but before that, two years again or something. I've just been wanting to see for myself what happens when you, when you let teeth just do what they do, you know? I was like, how much do you really need a dentist? But also, how well was I actually taking care of my teeth because then I find out that like Listerine's not good it's not even recommended by dentists which I mean how much stock you put into recommendations when there's you know kind of a um, conflict of interest varies but I switched to ACT and that's been doing wonders so I'm gonna be getting a root canal but until then uh, they checked me out I got friggin like five cavities dude and like one of them so bad dude it looks so bad there's like a big black checkered there's like a big black square on like one of my teeth and it's just a gaping hole and so i'm gonna need a root canal but i kind of expected it they told me to bite down on this like really cold ah man they gave they told me to bite down on this really cold uh like rod it's like a tiny tiny like spoon looking thing and like super supposed to be super cold and test if you have like um if it's, I guess if it's infected or if the cavity is bad enough where you need a root canal and dude, boy, right when I bit onto that thing, I'm like, yep, yep, that's it. That stupid sensitivity that brought me there in the first place because the night before my head was throbbing, it was painful. It's been kind of sensitive, um, what, these last couple weeks? Nah, I mean, even before my trip to Philippines, I was already like, mm, I'm gonna need to go to the dentist, but I was just like, there's no time beforehand. What, man? Don't be like me, okay? <laughs> so that's been going on. Um, at first, they were, she was like, 
man, you got like three cavities, four cavities. Then she calls me back later, like after I get home and I'm like, la la la, only two cavities and one that I gotta get a root canal, whatever, three cavities. I keep she calls me back, he's like, actually Herbie, we looked at your chart, you got two more. I'm like, God dang it. She freaking called me up to just like, punch me while I'm on the ground. I'm just messing, but yo. Thank you, Arthur Nova, for taking me on a short notice. Thank you, Kriya Edger, for handling my case. So, practice. Um, Nelson and I have been doing this stuff. But, dude, it's so fun. It's funny when, when you friggin hit harmonies together and you're just like oh <laughs> when just, it just feels right when you get when you get the right when you get harmonies together and it just like and they like Gah, like resonates perfectly your whole body is feeling it um it really is like a spiritual experience you know when you're able to first of all you're just sitting there like why does this work and second of all you're like just enjoying literally a frequency and literally just something that you just can't replace you know you're being you're like interacting with music so wholeheartedly and whole body and like from the inside out, you know? You're creating something that's also manifesting with like, it's also affecting you, it's wild. Um, boom. Dude, on the way back, there was this freaking rainbow. It was the most vivid rainbow, dude. <laughs> we were flipping out, I know that. Yeah, dude, don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. So, it, dude, sh look at this, man. Vibrant. The most vibrant rainbow. And there were two of them. You just sit there and you're like, dude, I'm just saying, if you lived back in the day where there was no concept of what the world was, what any of the properties of the of the earth and what, what any of the mechanisms interacting existed like if you had no idea of these mechanisms that existed that caused this rainbow to exist like way in the past you'd be sitting there like dude that's freaking great that's magic you'd be like dude there's like there's definitely something like boom you look at this rainbow you're like dude there's something this world has something that we just is just like holy it's just like magical dude just mind-blowing you have to look at that and be like, dude, this is something like unearthly going on. This is something biblical, you, right? If you had no concept and you see this gigantic arching thing and it's just like, like puts the world into perspective, you know, it makes you like soft focus or like it takes your body, it takes like your consciousness out of your body and like you see everything in like a totally different, like it's so cliche, but a different perspective. But because this thing is so giant, and it moves the way it does, as in it doesn't move consistently with like the world we're used to because, you know, of how it's like illusory. It's like a light bending thing. You would think that there is something else that you don't understand that governs this world, you know, like it because of how it's shaped and how it moves relative to everything else. It really does like take your mind out of your body and you see the world as such a at such a different uh not just a perspective but like a different scale the mountains that you thought were large suddenly feel so small the houses the rooftops the cities the, and if you're back there if you live back then the trees the mountains the clouds the animals the scale relative to one another just changes and it it's like it's like looking at a fire station in real life versus a fire station that's made of Legos. Like, it's just different scale and you can just appreciate them differently, you know? And when the scale is shifted like that, because the rainbow itself is like so, it feels so close to your vision, um, just because of the way that the light is so detailed, it feels so close to your vision, yet it's so freaking far away and gigantic, yet it feels right in front of you because of how light works and how it's like, how you are the receiver of that light and the way it moves, it's like tilt shift, if you know if you, if you know that about like photography and stuff. But the way it moves, because it looks so close of how detailed the colors are, but yet it moves like it's so far away, it like puts the whole world in this like, in, in like a smaller box that your mind 
steps out of your body to be able to like perceive it makes the whole world feel so small and feels like it is governed or watched by something larger it kind of it kind of lets you look at the world as if you were larger i just went on this big old rant but it, it to me it's just like beautiful um and especially already going back to way back in the day before they knew any of this technology stuff you would already you would look at that for sure and be like man there's something greater out there this is there's something that we're like part of that's there's something that we're part of that's greater and even after knowing these technological things, even after knowing how it all, all the mechanisms work together, it's still freaking amazing, dude. Even knowing all that stuff, looking at it, looking at it, you're just like, dude, world's not so bad, you know? You just imagine how they felt back then. But even today, even after knowing more, if anything, it's more enriched where you look at it, you're like, wow, dude, it's like, that exists? That kind of thing can exist? like. Dang, dude, like we are part of something that's bigger. Whether, whatever you want to attribute that to or not, like it's kind of wonderful to see that there's something that, dang, bro. There's some that we're just like aligned to. Anyway, that was way too long of a rant, dude. But I was just appreciating it, man. I wasn't even high, dude. <laughs> this thing makes you just kind of seeing the majesty of something like that. Like, that exists in your world. And it doesn't exist all the time, but only when these certain properties come together, dude. It's freaking mind-blowing. It's like, man, dude, we're part of this bigger system that kind of makes your problems feel smaller because you're just like, man, there is a bigger system that we are able to... We're graced with the the sight of every now and again of how all of these seemingly unrelated parts can come together and create something so manifestly beautiful without even trying it's just there dude and on the way back i would see people like recording it and i literally had to open my window i was like dude this is crazy right like i was doing driving by i was like i know right this is they're all just like they're just like recording it they hear like some like black-haired filipino dude like rolls out his window as he's turning the corner they're just recording like oh this is crazy right and they're like i know <laughs> like everybody on the street is like <laughs> anyway okay so enough of that <laughs> how long was that like <laughs> long ass rant um <laughs> all right anyway so i've been job hunting here's what this looks like i've been like studying i'm gonna try to do like some tutoring while i'm looking for a more solidular job um and see where that takes me i like teaching um, and it would help me as I am, um, as I am preparing for these jobs, it would be good to be able to also, um, study and teaching people helps you retain information better and understand it. You can see where you already know. So I'm looking at that kind of thing for now. Um, in the meantime, also, um, I mean, I was thinking about even going back to school, you know, like, um, but you need money to do that too. So we'll see if I can, did I scratch my, see if I can hook myself up with um, some other opportunity, whether that's like at a job or whatever have you to be able to fund this project. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm really getting back into it, but I am such a newbie right now. So I'm doing some studying. I'd like to go into tutoring. Maybe I'm looking at this website. Um, and maybe doing some tutoring for uh, computer science at first and then maybe more specifically like Java, C++ as I'm going through and learning more of that. Maybe even some English courses. I do like myself some English. Um, maybe some math, algebra. I'd like to start low you know, and then build myself up because I was awful at calculus, man. I really got to learn that for myself now um, in a good way. That's been pretty much what's been happening is why I have amoxicillin, why I'm gonna need a root canal, um, the practices with Nelson, that friggin' rainbow, oh my gosh, job hunting, yeah, there's these, dude, YouTube ad, YouTube is now blocking ad blockers, so I understand if you guys have been having to deal and be frustrated with that, and I don't wanna have to put you through that, uh, I know it already is frustrating watching all these other videos, let alone a vlog, so, um, I don't know, we'll see where it, like, uh, I was looking at, like, other avenues. We'll see as far as, like, where to put the videos. <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, who else is annoyed with that? Uh, these friggin', I don't know if you guys, <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys are... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are, any of you guys are also annoyed with that, but it's been annoying me, so I'm aware of this. I don't want to take up your guys' valuable YouTube lives, because I know that you only get to watch so many videos or something, so it blocks you. Um, so we, we started off with something that I hate, which is freaking tooth and jaw pain. Something that I love, now freaking tooth pain and jaw pain. It's really, uh, <laughs> I hate tooth and jaw pain so much, but these past couple of days, I really began, began to, um, well, one, hurt again because some, sometimes the ibuprofen wears off. Uh, but I've learned to appreciate it. It's been motivating me. I've been seeing this as just a reminder of how mortal we are and how there isn't much time to waste, you know? Um, I spent some time wallowing in the pain for sure because I'm just like, oh, it hurts. But, you know, I'm grateful that I can feel the pain. I'm grateful that I'm alive and it's not worse. I'm grateful that there are things that I want to do that the pain is reminding me to do despite the pain, you know? Are you strong enough to keep going and overcoming this pain and still doing what you have to do? Hell, even doing what you have to do even while you're struggling through the pain. Sometimes it can feel like just because there's pain now, you don't have to do anything. You're just entitled to sit there and wallow, which is, at least for me, that's what I've always been guilty of. Um, but now I'm like, I'm, I'm seeing um, perspective sh shift, you know? And it's just like, hey, um, I'm gonna try to, you know, like, you can feel that pain and you can focus and you can still work through the pain. And I don't mean work to get over the pain because sometimes the pain won't go away, but you can still, you know, your life is begging to have meaning made of it. And it seems like a good way to um, get your mind off of your pain, uh, to focus on your projects and hell, even work Put, get some work under the belt and get some work done on those projects through that pain. Now how badass are you? Pain didn't even stop you. You you didn't wait for the pain to subside. You, you took that pain and you said, I'm gonna shoulder that pain and still get what I need done. Dude, how awesome, how awesome are you now? And that's my message for this vlog. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> beat a dead horse. Sometimes the pain doesn't go away. Do you get up and do what you have to do anyway? There's never a good time. But there is the will that you have to feel that pain and say, you know what? This is hurting. This sucks. I kind of want to kill myself right now, but I'm going to focus on this larger goal at hand so that should this pain ever go away, or even if it doesn't go away, I still got to where I needed to be. I still got done what needed to get done. I still built what I need to needed to build. Even through this pain, this 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 mountain, this building, this project was built on pain. Was built despite of pain. You didn't wait until the pain subsided. You said even through the pain, I'm gonna live I'm gonna give my life meaning. And that's my way of saying that I love tooth pain and jaw pain. That's... <laughs> that's my way of uh, excusing all the, all the bitching I've been doing. Excuse, that's my way of excusing all the, all the times that have crumpled <laughs> due to weakness to this pain. I hope you stick through it as well. Have a great week. Thank you for visiting this channel. My name is Herbie, aka Ear, aka Ear. As a, like I said, AKE, AKA that weird guy. <laughs> Thanks for visiting the Herb and Peach channel. This has been vlog 23. We'll see you next, 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 next time, 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 time to the next, 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 next time, 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 time to the time, time, next, next time, 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 time to the time, time, next, next time, time, next. I can't even snap on beep. We'll see you next time. Being an absolute pansy, just like mo moaning, woe is me, groaning in the car.